In today's world, to ensure plants are controlled safely and efficiently, operators need to have access to all relevant process and plant information in a logical, intuitive and organized manner. They need remote location interfacing for production control and to allow support by experts globally. And they need this in a way that combines ease of operation with ergonomically designed control room furniture to eliminate fatigue. Uh, welcome to ABB's Extended Operator Workplace. Uh, it's a fully integrated environment bringing in the various domains of electrical, telecommunications, safety and automation in line with the latest standards of EMUA and ISO. And this is helping ABB retain its number one global position in the DCS market. The 800XA system is a fully adjustable environment providing operators with the ability to raise and lower the desk, they can alter the angle of the screens depending on the preferences, uh, likewise it's the lighting and the speaker systems can all be adjusted and the whole environment can be tailored to a particular operator's needs. The extended operator workplace is integrated not only to the environment and the users but it's also integrated into 800XA which then can recognize plant upset conditions or plant status i.e. in a plant upset conditions, typically operators stand up to operate the plant. There the desk can be raised automatically, the screens could be laid at an ideal angle to maximise the viewing data available to the system users and the people rectifying the plant upset. The Extended Operator Workplace and 800XA provides all of the information for system users regardless of whether they're working on the large overview screens or the smaller uh, HMIs on the console itself. The environment also provides easy access to uh, alarm lists directly on uh, the graphic itself, uh, likewise access to trends, to documents, uh, even to AutoCAD documents where the user might want to be able to see a process diagram, uh, process layout. Uh, by a simple click, this now is made available on the HMI uh, to a particular user or a group of users. Uh, also, more importantly, uh, it displays the order trail, which logs every operator action, regardless of where that's done, anywhere within the 800XA system. What's also really important these days, uh, bearing in mind the latest ISO uh, or EMU standards, is the alarm KPI data. So this is how many alarms per hour, for instance, uh, and through the various displays and dialogues now, we're able to get access to real-time alarm data, alarm status data, uh, from 800XA. One of the other advantages of 800XA, uh, because of the integration of the telecommunication systems, is that a system user is able to get access to CCTV. That can be CCTV systems around a production plant or an uh, offshore platform, for instance, uh, or an internal CCTV system. That includes pan tilt zooms, flame detection cameras. Uh, these are all accessible now uh, via the uh, operator workplace. An area of interest for our oil and gas clients, obviously, today is remote access. 800XA takes that into account by providing an icon on the toolbar which either enables or disables the ability for remote access into the system. That can be particularly useful if a remote user needs to come in and do some monitoring of a system or a plant or a process, either locally or globally. To do that, they need to contact the operator to give them access into the system. Eight hundred XA is based on aspect object technology. That means for a given device in the field, such as a drive, a valve, uh, instrument, for instance, we can simply right-click and get access to data that is pertinent to that particular user. That information can be video, for instance, where we can get access to video from any part of the plant. Uh, that can include pan tilt zoom uh, information or flare cameras, which is becoming particularly popular these days. Uh, likewise, we can right-click and we can get access to documentation, uh, either that resides on 800XA or in the client's database, such as EDMS Documentum, or indeed any other type of information which a particular user may need to do his or her job. 800XA also integrates its asset management system. That means from the right-click also, uh, a maintainer, for instance, will get access to electronic work orders or asset management systems directly on the right-click. Here, for instance, we've got access to the electronic work orders in a Maximo system, uh, and that include active work orders. We can generate work orders. Likewise, we can see what the work order history is for a particular object or objects. 
800XA also contains an audit trail function which allows the tracking and monitoring of all operator actions regardless of where they may occur on a system. That means if I make a change to a faceplate as logged in as a particular user, uh, and here for instance I'm logged in uh, as the user Colin, and I'm going to change that value. Uh, then if I go to another system and I make a change or another user makes a change, uh, that will also be logged in the audit trail as well. So we're going to make a change up here. Uh, and on this particular instance, we're going to change a set point. The set point's being changed with the user mark. Then if we look in the order trail, you'll see both those interactions are recorded uh, for later retrieval if required. <music> 800XA now more closely follows the EMUA 191 guideline than ever before. Uh, and we do that by bringing a lot of the LAM functionality and the LAM management inside of 800XA. So third-party systems are no longer required. Some of the functions that are available uh, inside of 800XA are the LAM shelving and the LAM hiding functions that are uh, depicted within the 191 guideline. And if I want to simply shelve an alarm, I would bring up the alarm list here and I either select an individual alarm or I select a group of alarms. And by a simple right click now, I'm able to shelve those selected alarms, the reason for shelving those alarms, uh, and then as soon as I've selected the OK, then those alarms become now shelved. They will no longer enunciate an alarm list for the period that they are shelved. That means they're not contributing to the KPI statistics on the alarm management system. We can simply get access to the shelved alarm list by again selecting at the top of the box here, which is the shelved alarms, and that's the status of the shelved alarms uh, that are currently existing in 800XA. If then we look at the alarm KPI status, over a period of time, we would see the amount of acknowledged, unacknowledged, shelved, and hidden alarms. This data can be viewed at any time, uh, and it's real-time data on information directly taken from the 800XA system. Another way to get access to the hidden alarms is through uh, a new feature within 800XA called Snapshot Reports. The Snapshot Reports can simply generate a list of any property within 800XA. Uh, in this instance, it's shelved alarms. In other instances, it might be set points. It might be any safety systems in override, inhibit, in manual, for instance. Uh, and by simply selecting the particular pre-configured snapshot report, we generate an Excel type list that we can right click on and we can bring up all the aspects that we've seen previously. In this instance, I can bring up a faceplate. The faceplate then indicates to me that this particular object is contained in a shelved alarm list. 800XA also provides easy access to typical user functions or maintenance functions such as operator trends, alarm lists, uh, or documentation that may be required to do some troubleshooting functions. Uh, some typical uh, type information is we're able to get access to an operator trend. Uh, and this operator trend displays no data at the moment, but we can simply drag and drop information directly from the workplace into the trend display. Uh, and this will then display any logged or long-term data uh, that's available within 800XA. Uh, we can utilize the full workspace there. Uh, likewise, we can have uh, pre-configured reports uh, for traces that are useful uh, on a more regular basis. Uh, and this is an area trend. Uh, and by selecting this, again, we can drag across the workspace. Uh, and we can utilize the full area of the workspace simply by dragging the box uh, all the way across. Uh, and there's the full trend data. This is historical data based on the length of logging period. Uh, on the instance of this, this demonstration system, uh, we're logging for four hours. Uh, it could be four months, it could be four years. We're able to zoom in uh, on a particular part of the trace by simply dragging a box closer in here. Uh, and what we're seeing now is we're actually seeing five minutes of process data. From that trace, I'm able to get access to the data and the values uh, directly on the trace uh, down in the dialog box at the bottom. During this troubleshooting process, I may want to get access to process documentation to start troubleshooting the process itself. Uh, and again, we can simply do the same thing by selecting from a single button click. We're able to get access to the process diagram itself, which in this instance comes in AutoCAD format. Uh, and whilst it's in this format, 
we're able to zoom in uh, and navigate around the process uh, just like you would on a standard piece of paper that you would get previously from a filing cabinet. If we thought this was particularly useful uh, or I wanted to discuss it with a different part of the plant, I can simply right click and say send to uh, and that send to function then will allow me to transfer this document anywhere on the plant regardless of how distributed it is uh, and then we're able then to do exactly the same function down here drag it right across the HMI system zoom in and then what happens is we're all discussing exactly the same information exactly the same process and hopefully we're all going to come to the same conclusion to prevent that all-important plant shutdown. With the aspect object technology and the integrated nature of the ABB asset management system from a right click we're able to get direct access to the intelligent data from instrumentation or devices in the field. Here we're able to get access to this pressure transmitter and from the DTM I'm able to get diagnostic or parameterized information uh, directly onto 4 to 20 milliamp signal. Uh, that's the same whether we use Profibus PA, DP or Foundation Field Bus. If we decide that there is a fault with a particular instrument through the intelligent data, then again we can simply right click and assume in a SAP or a Maximo computerized maintenance systems connected, we can generate electronic work orders directly from the right click. Not only that, we're able to also get access to active work orders, spare parts and also work order history directly from the HMI. As well as integrating automation, safety and electrical, 800XA also allows the integration of telecommunications system. These can come in the form of video, public address general alarm system uh, and also communication systems such as SMS messaging from the automation itself. There's several ways for us to integrate those telecommunications system. One of the ways is through the SAB Tactical Unit. This is fully integrated into 800XA uh, and it allows the users then to remove the clutter from the desk which was there previously uh, and we can integrate telephone systems, public address, general alarm uh, and also video control and monitoring systems. Uh, likewise we can fully integrate the video uh, into the HMI environment so by a simple click of an aspect link uh, we get a full plant layout here. Uh, in reality this would be a platform uh, or a refinery type application. On this demonstration system it's obviously the building CCTV system uh, and I'm able to navigate around now, uh, select cameras, select views, uh, and, and, and effectively uh, navigate around a process plant. Uh, in this particular instance, it's an automatic pan tilt zoom, uh, but from a right click, I'm able to get access to a faceplate. Uh, and like the typical offshore application, this may have pan tilt zoom functions. As well as platform and operational video, uh, we can also get access to uh, webcam type videos and you see the webcam in the side of the uh, extended operator workplace screen here uh, and from this I'm able to connect to either other parts of the system other parts of the world uh, or even more, more relevant uh, between the onshore and offshore system and this is true webcam functionality. What we start to have more conversations about now also is the mobile operator and a mobile operator is an extension of the control room where they're able to transmit video and data that they're experiencing in the field back to the main control room such as systems like this so process operators and process maintainers can make much better quicker decisions. ABB can only see this increasing in the future and luckily the 800XA system is already enabled and positioned to take full advantage of this technology. Communications is extremely important around the site and SMS messaging is one example of that. Uh, it's now important to get data to, to people throughout the system uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, we can do that through SMS messaging. Uh, we can pick up any parameter in the automation system and that can be from a safety, electrical, a telecoms or an automation system uh, and it can generate SMS messages to an individual uh, or a group of people either on site or off site. As part of the telecoms integration, 800XA also allows us to integrate the public address and general alarm systems. This is extremely important when we've got large production plants with multiple nationalities uh, dispersed right throughout the plant. And what the 800XA system can do is pick up any system alarm, uh, and in this case we're going to generate a fire alarm, uh, and once we generate this alarm, The message is automatically inserted into a faceplate displaying a particular message 
that needs to be transmitted right throughout the production plant. And this is a true text-to-speech system where we could actually change the message if we needed to do so. We could actually select the different languages. Then we can transmit that right across the production plant or certain areas of the production plant. Process alarm level blue in U13. Evacuate to zone B. Process alarm level blue in U13. Evacuate to område B. So that's the general alarm system that has the fully redundant systems in the background uh, that's required for such systems as it's part of the safety system. But what we've also got as well is we've got a public messaging system where we can actually predefine messages that we need to go throughout the plant. And we can select one of these and again we can transmit them either in individual areas uh, or right across the production plant. Helicopter deck crew, please go to action stations where it's a non-specific message and we may need to write something in ourselves, then we can quite simply write the text in uh, and then that message will be transmitted across the production plant as well. This is ABB's true text-to-speech messaging system capable of transmitting in over 10 different languages. As can be seen, ABB's 800XA system combines all process control, safety management, electrical and telecom aspects of a plant in an ergonomically designed environment to allow operators to run the plant safely and efficiently. Additionally, the system gives them access to relevant information to do their jobs, assist them in creating work orders for others and facilities to obtain expert advice either locally or remotely. Management information is also immediately available to quickly identify any situation that reduces the protection of the plant, personnel or the environment.